I'm gonna show you three cool effects that I add on my Goha level websites to make sure that they don't look ugly, boring, or corporate, and instead build websites on Goha level that are stunning, eye catchy, and help get more sales. Before I show you the effects, the problem that I see with most Goha level agencies and businesses is that they have websites that look cheap and don't stand out. You're probably familiar with some of these websites and you might even be using one of these yourself. You might have an amazing product and service, but because of the fact that the first impression that the prospect has is with a website that looks cheap, it might not be leaving a good impression and attracting the wrong type of customers instead. With that, let's jump into my computer and I'll show you the three cool effects. Now, the three effects that I'm going to show you is number one, the logo carousel. This is great to show testimonials, proof, partners, and so on. The second is how to add cool effects to images and different graphics. And the third is how to add cool gradient text to make sure you accentuate specific words or copy within your website. I'm going to be implementing these on my SaaS template so you can watch along and implement these or you can get this exact template with these effects and all of the other effects that I've added already implemented in the first link in the description. Now you see that as I scroll through the website, I've added this section right here, which says connects with the tools that you're already using. You could do it for testimonials and you've probably seen this in other SaaS or even tech company websites. Now I'm going to create this section right below here. So what I'll do is click this right here, select a full width section, then add a one column row. And in here, let's say I wanted to add four different logos. So what I'll do is add an image. Now that I've added this image, I want to make sure that I add some properties to it. First of all, being I want to make sure that the padding is set to zero on all sides for the width. I'll make it so that it's a little bit smaller. So let me just set that to 100 pixels. Now, because I want to showcase four different logos, I'll have to duplicate this image. So in total, half double the amount of logos. So eight. Now you see that I have all of my images one after the other. However, I want my images to be horizontally instead of vertically. So what I'll do is click the column right here. And then here it says content alignment, select horizontal. And now you see that all my images are from one side of the screen to the other side of the screen. The next thing that I want to do is click this right here and make it so that this row takes the entire width. So now I have all of my logos expanding like this. Now, what I'm going to do is to start adding the images right here. So for instance, let's say the first image that I wanted to add is this Google right here. What you can do is click on the image, select this, and then find your image right here. In my case, because I already have the images right here, what I'll do is click this right here, copy this, go here, paste it just like that. Now for this effect to work, I need to add this not only here, but also in the fifth spot. So it'll be like one, two, three, four, and then one again. So in this case, I'm going to add the Google logo right here. Now I'm going to select my second logo, which would be Facebook. I'm going to copy the image URL and then paste it here again. So anyways, you get the idea. Let me do this for all of them and show you what the final result looks like. All right. So I've added all of my logos right here again, making sure that they follow the right order so that the transition is smooth and the effect works properly. The next thing that I'm going to do is click on this column right here and make sure that for the content position, this is set to center. Now that we have the foundations for this set in place, I'm going to add a piece of code to make sure that this is animated and it works. So what I'm going to do is click on this custom CSS button right here. And this window will open. If you don't have any code, this will be blank. In my case, I do have some code. So I'm going to open up some space for myself right here. And the code that I'm going to be using is one that I have on this notion doc right here. This is a resource that I use every day to build better websites for myself and for my clients. That way I don't have to remember the code or type it from scratch. So in this case, if I scroll to this tutorial right here, the 3.3, how to add a moving logo carousel. And then we already did all of the different steps right here. All that I have to do is copy this piece of code, go back to high level. And in this case, I'm going to paste it right here. There's some things that we need to change, but for now I'll hit save. Now we need to change a couple things on the code for this to work properly. First will be to click on this section right here, go to advanced, and then in the CSS selector, copy this right here, open this again, and then replace where it says your section with my actual section. So in this case, it's this right here. I know I need to change it here as well. So just making sure you change it everywhere, hit save. And then now you see that this is animating and it's moving. There's just one thing that we need to do as well. And to do that, I'm going to click on this section right here, go to advanced, copy this row. There was one place where we needed to replace our row, which is this right here. Click save. So now you see that the effect works properly. And if I exit this right here, you see how the logos kind of show from one side of the screen to the other. Very smooth, very cool. And we were able to do this with just a few clicks. 
All right, so the next effect that I wanted to show you is how to make it so that when you hover over an image, there's some sort of like cool effect, whether that be the image becoming a little bit bigger or the image kind of like elevating for that hover effect. Before I do that, one thing that you want to take into account when you're building your website is making sure that the visuals or the graphics that you add actually help paint a picture as to like the service, the benefit, the offer. So in this case, you see that for the SaaS template, instead of having some very default graphics that like you see on other Go High Level website templates, I actually added some custom graphics which show the platform and we display it in such a way that it looks beautiful and easy to use. Now, let's say that I wanted to make it so that when I hover my mouse over this image, it becomes bigger the first thing that i would have to do is open the custom code again add some space for myself right here and i'm going to go back to the notion doc and there's a tutorial i think it's the 1.3 yes and what i'm going to do here is copy this piece of code right here go back to high level i'm going to paste this right here i'll click save and i'll select my image right here go to advance copy the custom css selector although you can do it for a custom class if you are going to be doing it for different images in this case i'll go back to the custom css and then replace this right here just like this all that this is saying is that when i hover my mouse over that image it's going to make it so that it's 20 percent bigger or scale it by 1.2 i find that's a little bit too much so what i'll do is just actually go ahead and do it so that it's only five percent bigger and now you see that when i hover over that image it becomes a little bit bigger it's very nice very interactive and it's going to make it so the site is a lot more engaging now let me show you another cool effect that you can do just by replacing one line of code so i'll open the custom css right here and what i'm going to do now is replace this line right here and you'll see why in just a sec if i hit save now you see that when i hover my mouse the image kind of like jumps or floats so this is kind of like a floating effect very nice very beautiful very interactive and if you take a look at the code right here what this is saying is that when i hover over this image make it so that the image moves to the top or minus 10 pixels and that's how we're able to achieve that very cool effect when you hover over that image the last effect that i wanted to show you is how to add this cool gradient text that you see right here kind of to accentuate specific words or copy in your messaging so for instance here in this section it says get paid without hassle in just four clicks so that without hassle I wanted to accentuate it which is why I added this gradient right here in this case let's say that I wanted to add a section right below here and I want to make it so that it's a two column section on this side I'll add an image and on this side I'll add a headline let me just add an image very quickly and now here let me make it so that this is easier to read so we'll make it so that it's white instead of writing about a feature I'm going to write about a actual benefit that I want to accentuate and now that I have this benefit let's say that I just wanted to accentuate the in one place so what I'll do right now is I'll make it bold and I'll open the custom CSS again I'll open up some space for myself right here and I'll go back to the notion doc and I'm going to be using a piece of code that is going to help us add this gradient I'll hit save and now to add the effect I'll click on the headline go to advance and then add it as a custom class right here hit enter and now you see that I've been able to add the gradient. Now let's say I wanted to change the colors for this. What I could do is open this right here and start playing around with these uh, values right here. I like to go to the site coolers.co and let's say the two colors that I like are these two right here. What I can do is click right here, make sure that I am in RGB, copy the RGB values. And then in this case, let's say I wanted to change this right here. I'll replace it here just like this. And then for the other value, it's this one right here. Copy this. Go back here leave the one here at the end uh, as is and then paste this just like this if i hit save you'll see that very quickly you see that i've been able to change that gradient so you can make it so you match your business colors and so on now if i wanted to change the values for all of the different gradients buttons and the whole theme of this website what i would do is instead of hard coding the values as you see right here i would add them as variables so for this website you see that i have all of my colors here as variables. So if I change it just here at the tops, for instance, I hit this right here and I hit save. And now you see that because I added these as variables, if I change the variable just at the top, my entire website has now my company colors without me having to manually change this at all. If you don't have time to implement this or you don't want to learn code and you just want to have a beautiful website that is ready to go, click the link in the description and get a copy of this website. A website like this would usually cost $2,000, $3,000, even $5,000, but you can get it for just a fraction of the cost. So click the link in the description and get your own copy.